Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be simplifying a trigonometric expression. So we have sine 7 pi over 18 plus sine pi over 18, all divided by sine 2 pi over 9. And we're going to be simplifying this expression. At the end, we're going to be getting a numerical expression or something trigonometric, but it's going to be a simple one. So as you already know, I find it harder to work with radians, so I'm gonna turn everything into degrees. So pi radians is equivalent to 180 degrees, so this is going to be sine of 70 degrees plus pi over 18, 180 divided by 18 is 10, so this is going to be equivalent to sine 10 degrees. And at the bottom, 180 divided by nine is equal to 20, two times 20 equals 40, we're going to get sine of 40 degrees. Now, there's obviously some formulas that are called sum to product and you can turn this sine alpha plus sine beta into something that looks like a product. But I don't want to follow that rule. Some people have memorized it, some people haven't. So let's go ahead and find out what's going on here. So I'm going to be writing, So and one thing to notice here is that 70 and 10, if you average 70 and 10, you get 40, which is important. So I'm going to take the average for 70 and 10, which is 40. So I'm going to express 70 and 10 using 40 and 30 degrees. Why? Because 70 can be written as 40 plus 30. And obviously 10 is 40 minus 30. This works because of the average being 40. Okay. So let's go ahead and write the 70 degrees as 40 plus 30. And from now on, I'm not going to use the degree symbol. So don't be hard on me because of that, because as you know, everything is in degrees. So, but I just, I'm not just gonna write the degree symbols. So instead of 10 degrees, we can write 40 minus 30. And at the bottom, I'm just gonna keep the sine 40 for now. Now we do have a formula obviously for sine alpha plus beta. And what does that look like? Sine alpha plus beta can be written as sine alpha cosine beta plus sine beta times cosine alpha. And if you change the sign here to minus sign, then you're gonna have the ch sign to, you're gonna change it to minus sign here as well. So it's basically gonna keep the same sign. So using those formulas, you can just go ahead and express this as a sum of two things. So we can write sine 40 cosine 30 plus sine 30 cosine 40 for the first part. And then I can just go ahead and, you know, just move this a little bit to the left so I have more room. Let's go ahead and write it this way. And then what I can do is for the second part for this one, so I used the formula for this one, now I'm gonna use it for the other part. Same formula, it's just gonna be a minus sign. So I can write it as sine 40 cosine 30 minus sine 30 cosine 40. And all of this is going to be divided by the expression, the denominator, which is sine 40. Okay, let's go ahead and simplify this. Notice that sine 30 cosine 40, the product, and negative sine 30 cosine 40 are opposite, so they're going to cancel out. Let's cross them out. And then on top, we have the sine 40 cosine 30 twice. So we can write it as 2 sine 40 cosine 30. And at the bottom, we're gonna get sine 40. Great, now what am I gonna do with this? Well, sine 40 cancels out, and it leaves us with two times cosine 30, but cosine 30 is equal to root three over two, so if you replace cosine 30 with root three over two, the twos are gonna cancel out, and our expression is going to be root three in the simplest form, all right? And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.